Speaking of delusional, uh, a little bit later on, I'll be talking to the author of the Trump White House tell-all of Fire and Fury, Michael Wolff, okay? <laughs> and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is an exclusive. Uh -huh. This is the only interview he's doing for this book. <laughs> I think all of his other appearances on TV over the last five days was promoting tonight's appearance <laughs> where he will actually be interviewed on the book. Now, the book is just packed with nuggets of, oh, my God. <laughs> if you have not read it yet, hear the cliff notes. Trump dumb. <laughs> Staff worried. For instance, here's our, when one of his advisors sat down with Trump to explain the Constitution, he says, I got as far as the Fourth Amendment before his finger is pulling down on his lip and his eyes are rolling back in his head. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boring. Boring. Get to the part with the rapping and the music, okay? <laughs> I can't believe this thing won a Tony. Where's Pumba? <laughs> you know, it, Thomas Jefferson himself said, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> this book, this book has led a lot of people to question whether Donald Trump is mentally stable enough to be president. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but, on Saturday, Trump slapped back the notion that he's incompetent, tweeting, Actually, throughout my life, my two greatest assets have been mental stability and being, like, really smart. Being like really smart is not the same thing as being really smart, sir. <laughs> Tootsie Rolls are like chocolate <laughs> if chocolate was made of brown wax and disappointment. <laughs> not <a> chocolate. <laughs> also, also, I think it's worth mentioning that people who are mentally stable generally don't announce it. If you're going under for surgery, the last thing you want to hear your doctor say is, don't worry, I'm mentally stable and, like, really smart. <laughs> Let's start stabbing! <laughs> he continued, I went from very successful businessman to top TV star, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> to President of the United States, Armand Fanchon. <laughs> I think that would qualify as not smart, but genius, dot, 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 <laughs> and a very stable genius at that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow, very That's very stable. important. Yeah. Extremely, extremely He's important. A smart OK, guy. look, I'm, I'm a very stable genius. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's past my cheeseburger's bedtime. Let's go. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> and we all know geniuses spend most of their time talking about how smart they are. I believe it was Rene Descartes who said, I think, therefore, I am, like, really smart. <laughs> and the... Trump tweets tacular, then swerved off-road to cite a flattering New York Post article, his is turning out to be an enormously consensual presidency. <laughs> we did not consent. <laughs> we had a safe word. LAUGHTER <laughs> Sir, we agreed on a safe word. It's, you lost the popular vote. <laughs> now, if consensual seems like maybe it's the wrong word, it's because it's the wrong word. The actual quote is, an enormously consequential <laughs> presidency. It's, my presidency is very congenital. Life... <laughs> I believe life begins at consumption, and 
<laughs> By the way, my mental stability is extremely conjunctivitis. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the biggest source for Michael Wolff's book is former White House advisor Steve Bannon. Now, I'm worried about Steve because that's what he looks like when things are going well. <laughs> He has gotten a lot of heat because in the book, Bannon called Don Jr.'s Trump Tower meeting with the Russians treasonous and unpatriotic. But after getting attacked by the president and threatened with losing his job, he folded like an origami cuck, writing, <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. is both a patriot and a good man. Well, there you have it. Don Jr. is a patriot. So that meeting wasn't treasonous and unpatriotic. It was just treasonous. <laughs> We've got a great show for you tonight, everybody. <laughs> Liam Neeson is here. But when we come back, did you see that Stephen Miller on Jake Tapper yesterday? We did. Stick around. We'll talk about it. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.